Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I've got every single disc that Jester Disc has. We got the Love, which is a putter, Peace Train, which is a mid-range, and the Dream Weaver, which is a fairway driver. We're out here at Cane Creek and we're gonna play 18 holes with Jester Discs only. Let's go. All right, guys, I've done a couple reviews on Jester Discs already, but we've got the Dream Weaver, which is 75, negative one, one and a half. The Peace Train, which is a nice flippy little mid-range, 5.4, negative 2.1, and then a nice stable putter called the Love, which is 2.3, 1.5. This is all I need to tackle a wooded course, so let's go. All right, so we're just gonna take a nice little ace run at this one with the Peace Train. I've got lots of different Peace Trains here. This one is in taffy plastic. Let's do a nice little turnover here. All right, we got a nice birdie putt. Okay, the goal today is just to throw only Jester discs, which there's only three molds right now, which is perfect. We got a nice flippy mid-range, a nice flippy driver, and then a nice stable putter. That's all I need in the woods. So we're gonna see how low we can go here at Cane Creek, and we're starting out with a birdie. So that's pretty good. All right, had a nice easy birdie on hole one. Now we're gonna go with the Love. This is a great stable little putter. Again, we only got like a 200 foot shot here. This is wide open, so I'm just gonna start this a little bit to the right, should fade into the basket. Just like that. Come on, ace run, baby. Oh, did a review on the love last week. If you guys wanna check it out, uh, links up here at the top. Really do love this putter. I mean, it's a nice, great straight flying putter that also has some stability to it. And I really love this swirly taffy version of it. All right, two down through the first couple holes. First couple holes are kind of easy. Now it gets a little tricky. We've got about 270, very tight shot in the woods. Let's go with the Dreamweaver. Seven, five, negative one, one and a half. Let's see if we can snake through the woods here. Yes, be good. Sit down right there. Yeah, three for three, I think. So I think Jester Disc is doing it right. If I had to do a lineup of the first three discs, to manufacture, I would want a little bit flippy mid-range, a little bit flippy fairway driver, and then a nice stable straight putter. That's exactly what these things are. That shot you guys just saw with the Dreamweaver, I mean, perfect. You can play just about any course with that. Just throw it nice and flat, a little bit of a hyzer flip, and it'll just snake through the woods just like you want. Should be a great, nice, controllable fairway driver. All right, can't get much better than that. Three down through three. 220, this calls for a overstable forehand shot, finishing to the right, but I think we can do this with a putter. We're just gonna kinda go straight at it, see if we can sneak through these trees. All right, let's go with this beautiful swirly taffy. This one's a little bit more stable, so we're gonna put a lot of Anheuser on it. All right, that should be a putt. So far, these Jester discs are doing exactly what they're supposed to. Getting me nice and close for some easy birdies. So far, I'm loving it. All right, we're gonna try the Dream Weaver on this one. Just punch it nice and low, a little bit to the left. See if we can get it to drift over. Man, I am loving that Dream Weaver. I mean, makes a hole like this look easy. All right guys, this is the second hole in a row that that green Dreamweaver has made disc golf look super easy. Just start a little bit to the left, it'll drift over, finishes nice and straight. Wow, this is a great disc. Man, I wish disc golf was this easy all the time. Five through five. All right, hole number six, it's 522 feet, par five. Yep, you heard it right. A lot of my friends locally know that I call this probably one of the worst design holes in disc golf in the Charlotte area. It's just so weird. First shot, you basically want to throw like a 120 foot uh, shot that ends up to the right. And then after that, it's just a big wall of woods. You're lucky to get a par in here. I think I've got a birdie or two on this one, but it's not unheard of to get a bogey for sure on a 522 foot par five. You heard it. Maybe these Jester discs can help me get an eagle look or at least get a birdie on this one. All right, we're gonna start by going with a love. Like I said, you don't need a lot of distance on this. You just need something to turn and finish to the right, right in the middle. 
the love should be able to put us in a good spot. All right, the love got us in a good spot here. You can see what we're left with. We are in the middle of the fairway and we have a big wall of trees. There's not really a fairway. So I found just get a flippy driver, close your eyes and throw it hard. Hopefully you get lucky. All right, let's go with the dream weaver on this one. Yes, finish to the left a little bit. All right, I think we got super lucky with that dream weaver. All right, this just goes to show that if you take a gamble on this hole, you might get lucky. We got about a 75 foot long putt here. Let's see if we can get one of these loves to go in. Oh, I love that, come on. Oh, good run. Six through six, this is a dream start. Now we're getting to some longer holes coming up here. 320 feet, nice little S turn that kind of finishes to the right. There we go. All right, got some good distance. Should be easy up and down. Really impressed with these dream weavers. I've got two in the shimmer plastic. Man, these things have been just money in the tight woods. I know these are kind of hard to find right now. So stay tuned, maybe they'll have some new drops coming up soon. But if you guys are looking to get some discs, use my code at DiscGolfDealsUSA. It'll get yourself 10% off, plus it's free shipping over 50. Yes, my code is active. If you tried it in the past and it wasn't working, try it again, it should be working now. All right, I'll take a par. Okay, I think we got another Dreamweaver hole, about 320. This one hooks up hard to the left. Basket sitting right behind that tree, so it's gonna be a pretty hard hookup at the end here. But we're gonna try to lay a putter out there, see if we can get it to kind of hyzer bomb in at the end for maybe a sneaky little birdie look. Oh, almost, wow. Really love this park, super beautiful. Even though the course isn't exactly one of my favorites, you can see the nice little lake that we got here in the back. Championship bass fishing is out here. If you guys are looking to catch some big bass, you should head on out here. All right, speaking of the lake, the next two holes actually play over and next to the lake. Really good chance of losing the disc. So we got a little 260 foot shot over the little inlet here. All right, I think the piece train should be good on this one. We just need a little bit of a turnover that ends up flat, as long as we don't hit a tree or a branch. Keep turning, yes. All right, I think we got a birdie putt. Check this out. Drop in birdie. All right, seven down through nine. That is definitely my best start out here. I think if I get a couple more birdies on the back nine, That'll be a near record for me. Okay, this hole has the lake all the way on the right side, the whole length of it. If you hit a tree and it kicks to the right, it is gone, bye-bye, it gets deep very quick. Think a piece train, nice and straight. Get it to turn just a tiny bit, should be perfect. Oh, that's great. All right, I will take that, it is dry. Man, we're inside circle. We got probably 18 foot putt for yet another birdie. Man, I gotta tell you, for Charlotte area disc golf, all you really need is a slightly flippy mid-range, slightly flippy fairway driver, and a nice stable putter. I mean, this combo is kind of showing you, this is all you really need for woods disc golf. There we go, another birdie. Eight down, guys. All right, let's see it. Can we get to double digits? All right, this is basically going up almost six stories and it's only 260 feet. Feels like it plays like 400, like for real. I have never gotten anywhere close to having a birdie putt on this one, but let's see what we can do. Dream weavers have been money all day long. Let's see if we can get this on a nice Anheuser and maybe drift up there. All right, that's not too bad. Okay, hole 12, we are eight down. We got a 376 par four. So this is a great chance for us to get to nine down, guys. We're getting close to double digits. I really wanna get there. 
We got a really good chance at this one. Dreamweaver should be money on this shot. Super impressed with that disc, wow. All right, we're in a good spot. We got about 200 left. We're gonna go piece train, a little bit of a turnover. This one's tricky because if you fly past the basket, it just goes into this big pit and you got a hard comeback putter. Yep, get down, get down. All right, we got a long putt for birdie. Wow, we got a nice little uh, 40 foot putt straight uphill. All right, this is a tricky one for our birdie here, guys. Uh, all right, well, I guess can't birdie them all. All right, we're at eight down, but we got a 200 foot shot here. It's right there in front of you. In fact, last year I aced this one with a mana, which makes me want to throw the peace trains because they're very similar. So let's see if we can do something similar with these peace trains. All right, taffy peace train. Get down, that could be it. Come on. Oh my gosh. Yes. All right, pretty sure we can get the 10 down, guys. Let's see if we can do it. Okay, we're nine down. Par four, 466. We just need a nice little dream weaver shot. Nice little up shot. Get us a birdie to 10 down, that would be awesome. Here we go, shimmer plastic dream weavers. Been money all day long. Why stop now? Money, great spot. Okay, definitely in a little tricky spot here. I think I can do a little Anheuser to the left of this tree here and get something to kind of S curve its way up to that basket. Dreamweaver again, let's go. Turning 10 down is not gonna come easy. All right, this 10 down is not gonna come easy. We've got about a 50 footer here, nice and level putt. We've been close with these loves. Let's see if we can finally get one to go in. Come on. Oh, that was so close. All right, another par, still nine down. All right, now we got a 402 foot par four. This should be a good chance. I don't want to jinx myself like I did last time, but should be a good chance to get ourselves a birdie. Really love to get to that double digit, 10 down. Hey guys, November, December, I was really struggling with tennis elbow. I overcame that in about January. If any of you guys are curious to what really worked, I'd definitely be willing to share it with you. Not sure if anybody's interested in a video like that or not, but leave comments if you are. If not, I'll just keep it to myself then, I guess. All right, here we go. Dream Weaver it is. Nice flip up. Finish to the left, please. Yes, that is a big money drive. I love that. Yes, sir, had a great drive here. Now we got like a 100 foot up shot. Nothing the love can't handle. Here we go. Go in. Oh my gosh. Hit the pole, that gets us to 10 down. All right, we're not gonna stop at 10 down. Let's see how low we can go. Three more holes. Chester's been solid all day long. Why stop throwing this dream weaver? Got another. 440 foot par four. Need something to go straight, hook to the left, and then we're gonna end up finishing to the right. I love that disc so much. Look at that flip up, go straight, finish to the left. That's perfect, even though it hit a tree. All right guys, can't recommend enough getting a nice little fairway driver that's slightly understable. I'm not throwing this thing hard. I'm just throwing it nice and easy, probably about 80%, getting good distance, nice flip up and it is money in the woods for sure. We gotta go straight, try not to hit any trees, hook up a little to the left. So it's time to do a little sidearm with the Dreamweaver. Let's see if it can handle it. Oh, can it handle it? That looks really good, let's go find out. Super impressed with this lineup of discs. I mean, Jester, way to go. 11 down. Two more holes. We haven't really thrown the love a ton in this round. So I think this is perfect. I'm just gonna go the right route, nice and flat and straight. And this definitely has the stability to come back, get us close under that basket. There we go. Now finish to the left, sweet. Oh my gosh. 
Park City, baby. I gotta say, the Love is definitely becoming one of my favorite throwing putters. It's nice and straight, like a bullet and a Praxis, but it has just a little bit more finish at the end than the Praxis and the bullet, which I really love. All right, guys, this gets us to 12 down. Definitely nothing to like write home about, but it's a pretty solid round for me, especially at a course like this. All right, Dreamweaver. This green one's been money today. Let's see if we can close out strong. Okay, somehow it fought through every single thing and maybe we have a putt for birdie. All right, this is definitely not ideal. We got about 50 feet, lots of little skinny trees in the way. We're gonna see if we can get something skinny through here. Maybe a chance at 13 down, but like I said, I'm okay with laying up and taking my 12 down. All right, and there we got it, 12 down it is. Man, super excited about this lineup. If I was gonna put together a beginner pack, I might really consider just doing these three discs and recommending, hey, get a love, Dreamweaver, Peace Train. This is all you really need when you're a beginner and you're looking to get some solid discs to learn how to throw. Nothing better than these three. These work great in the woods. I could easily take these three discs, go out and score pretty good on just about any course in the Charlotte area. All right guys, if you're looking to get some discs, head on over to Disc Golf Deals USA. Use my code for 10% off on any purchase. Until I see you guys next time, peace out.